For vertical installations that are typical for large multi-story buildings, the trunking system is installed with spring brackets. Their attachment to the wall is the first step in the installation procedure of the ELEC system. The spring brackets are able to bear and compensate the weight and load-dependent elongation of the trunking units. One of the two guide elements is removed, while the other is only loosened. The LX trunking unit is now mounted on the prepared spring bracket and secured by tightening the guide elements. To extend the bus bar trunking system, remove the flange cover. Open the single bolt clamping block. To facilitate the insertion of the next trunking unit, loosen the clamp by hand. To mount the next trunking unit, remove the transport protection. The trunking unit can now be mounted on the wall. This is done by simply inserting the clamping block. The trunking unit is secured with the screws of the flange cover. The distance between the two trunking units has to be checked. It must be 230 millimeters. A visual check is carried out to ensure that the clamping block is properly mounted. The clamp is in the correct position if the mark is centered. When first installing the single bolt clamp, it can be tightened without a torque wrench. The outer section of the double head stud is sheared off. This corresponds to a tightening torque of 120 newton meters. The maintenance free bus bar trunking connection is completed by mounting the flange cover. The fixed angle bracket is an important fixture in vertical installations. It provides a template for the drilling of the boreholes, first at the wall and then at the trunking unit. After the boreholes have been drilled, the fit angle bracket is first secured to the wall and then screwed to the trunking unit. The spring bracket is fully functional as soon as the locking nuts are loosened. Before the tap-off unit can be mounted, the tap-off point must be opened. The tap-off unit is prepared for installation. The cover is removed. The locking brackets that are later used to secure the unit to the bus bar trunking section are opened. The tap-off unit can now be mounted on the bus bar trunking unit. It is simply attached by swiveling it. The unit is now secured by closing the locking brackets. The tap-off unit is now prepared for the connection of loads. The LX system is the ideal solution for power transmission and distribution in multi-storey buildings.